Fala pessoal, tudo bem com vocês? No vídeo de hoje nós vamos ver como é que foi decidida a estratégia de duas paradas da equipe Mercedes para o Lewis Hamilton. Foi ali uma negociação entre o engenheiro de estratégia lá da fábrica, o Leonardo da Silva, o chefe de estratégia de pista, o James Wallace, e o chefe de equipe, o Toto Wolff. A negociação ali ela se estendeu por 13 voltas, até que o James decidiu por chamar o Lewis Hamilton para o segundo pit stop. Isso aí mostra o quanto que é complexo as estratégias na Fórmula 1 e o quanto que é estudado para se trocar de estratégia durante um GP. James, Leon, Tactics? Sim, sí, senhor. Há um plano chamado Two Stop. Sim, yeah, é heavily reliant on the staff and falling off the curve, though. I'm not sure because he will have a dilemma between managing or pushing to build a gap. I do believe this race is very similar to Budapest right now. I think this can happen as early as lap 44, which is when Verstappen may hit back mark traffic again. The counter layer was that Lewis has got the youngest tires and he's not actually pushing that much harder. James, can you get, take me through the two stop? Yeah, so if we stop Lewis on the planner, he's forecast to catch up on the last lap of the race. And it, he has to catch up because Verstappen has to push his tires to effectively maintain that gap. It's, it's effectively Budapest. Tactics. Let's see how this all pans out in the next 10 laps or so. Not much change, James. 44, I'd say. Looks the best. Uh, sure. I'm getting the view that the two stop would be the best strategy. Tactics. If we call that, it needs to be really last minute. Yeah, I, I, I think you're going to do it now. If you want to do it, we do it now or never. Yeah, yeah it's now or never. We, we are going to do this, Toto. We are going to do this. Bono? Yeah. It's box, box, box. Do the opposite to the stuff. You need to call it incredibly late. So Roger. Roger. Okay, nice box opposite the staff. Box box opposite the staff. 